Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm always excited to share with you whatever it is I'm working on that week, but today I'm nearly out of breath with excitement because now I finally get to tell you what I've been working on for the past few months. A few months ago, a travel agent named Erica from Open Doors Travel got in touch with me. Now, I'd worked with Erica before when I took students on fashion tours of New York. I worked with Erica and she was great. So she got back in touch with me to ask me if I would be interested in hosting international fashion tours with adults. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. And today I want to tell you about an amazing travel opportunity that I want to invite you to come along with me on. Not just virtually, but actually. Like not a video called travel with me or pack with me or get ready with me, but actually like come on a trip with me. I have the most wonderful viewers. I read all of your comments and appreciate your kind words so much. And I always think how nice it would be if we could hang out together. And so today, this is my official invitation to actually come on this trip with me. In one of my first conversations with Erica, she asked me, what is my all time drop dead trip of a lifetime, like a fashion tour that I wouldn't be able to just do on my own or with my family. And without hesitation, I said Paris to Marrakesh without a doubt. And I know that sounds like a crazy trip and I'm going to explain why I've always wanted to do that trip. I never thought Erica would actually want to make that into a reality. So when I didn't hear back from her for a week or so, I pitched a second idea. And then she got back to me and said, not only are her contacts in Paris and Morocco putting together an amazing trip, but they're gonna go with my second idea as well. They're gonna do both. So that second idea I'll tell you about in my next video. But today I wanna tell you why I wanna go to Paris and Marrakesh. I'm not gonna lie, these trips are not cheap. This is high end travel. But most of us haven't done much traveling in the last two or three years. And so maybe your travel budget looks pretty good right now. But if you can't swing it, don't be sad. I'm going to be vlogging every day, capturing the experience and sharing it with you all. And then maybe you can start saving your pennies and come along with the next fashion adventure that Open Doors Travel puts together for us. So Paris is a logical starting place for any fashion trip. And I'm lucky enough that I've been there a few times and I just loved it and I would love to share that with you. But where's Marrakesh and why would you go there for fashion? Well, I love all things fashion from current runway shows to sustainable fashion, to gorgeous textiles, to upcycling, and also the history of fashion. And if you delve into the history of fashion, you'll read about the great couturiers like Balenciaga, Chanel, Dior, etc. And once you fall in love with Dior, that leads you to this guy, Yves Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent was Dior's successor, and then he went out on his own to change the course of fashion. And in my humble opinion, he helped bring how women dress into the modern era. He lived and worked in Paris, but he and his partner took off to Marrakesh to relax, to be inspired, and to design most of his greatest collections. He found inspiration in the sights and colors of Marrakesh, and that inspiration seeped into his collections and into the way we dress today. I would love to go there to see what he saw and be inspired by the colors and the sounds, and walk the streets that he walked and visit the cafes he might have enjoyed, and there's a wonderful museum there dedicated to him. So our trip will begin in Paris, of course, where you and I and our small group of fashion travelers will come from wherever we live, whether it's Canada, US, UK, Australia, wherever you're starting from, we'll all just meet at this lovely hotel in Paris for a five night stay. Now that is exciting enough for me right there. I love to travel and of course I love to travel with my family. I could never drag them along on a fashion focused trip like this. And when I travel with my husband and my two teenage sons, any fashion activities I either skip or I go alone. What a dream it would be to go on a trip with like-minded people who love fashion as much as I do and want to do the same activities that I want to do. So on day one of the trip, you leave wherever you are in the world. And day two, we arrive at the hotel in Paris. We'll be a small group, maybe 10 to 15 people. We'll go for a nice dinner and get to know each other a bit. Then for the next four days, we'll visit as many of the Paris fashion sites as we can, starting of course with the Yves Saint Laurent Museum. This museum is very special. I went to France with my family probably about five years ago now. And so I went to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum alone, of course, and I found it so moving. It's in the actual building where his atelier was. Many spaces in the salon are now used for beautiful exhibitions of his work. You come face to face with some of the most iconic pieces of fashion from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. I struggled not to drool on the displays. 
Then you turn a corner and you're in his actual workspace with his actual desk and his actual books and his actual sketches with his actual pencils. I nearly cried. I was so moved to be so close to his genius. I had a lovely conversation with the security guard because there was no one else that I could share my emotions with. And he was just a lovely guy. I wanted to take a picture from Saint Laurent's side of the desk and there's a line you're not allowed to cross on the floor there. And I said to the security guard, like, is it okay if I just go back there just to take a picture? And he said, no, madame. And I was like, I won't touch anything. And he said, no, madame. And I'm like, just one. And he said, no, madame, not even if I love you. <laughs> he was so adorable. And you know what? He made my trip special. That museum really holds a special place in my heart. Breakfast is included every day in our hotel. And for lunches and dinners, Erica has created a nice variety of meals together that are included in the cost of the trip, but also sometimes where we can spread out a bit and have a meal on our own or with small groups of our new BFFs. And I love that because sometimes you might want to go check out a fancy restaurant and other people might just want to grab some street food and get more shopping time in. We'll go to one of the world's most beautiful department stores, the Galerie Lafayette, and see a fashion show there. And on one of the days, we'll have a local French-speaking tour guide take us on a full fashion tour. We'll go to the Musée des Arts Décoratifs, the Palais Galleria, where they have amazing fashion exhibits, and maybe the Gobelin Tapestry Factory Museum, where we can learn about the history of tapestry weaving in France, but also see master craftspeople weaving modern tapestries. Erica has built into the trip a lot of flexibility, so she's included a lot of really fantastic group tours that would be difficult to arrange on your own. But there's also some unstructured time where you can explore on your own and do all the things that would make your Paris dreams come true, or you can hang out with me and do the things that I want to do in Paris. So we can go vintage shopping in the cool and funky area known as Le Marais. We can check out the Fashion and Textile Museum at the Louvre. We can go window shopping along the very fancy Rue de Faubourg Saint-Honoré, where all of the biggest designers in the world have their flagship stores, including, of course, Yves Saint Laurent. I love going to Montmartre, where we can discover some fun shopping, then maybe a cute restaurant for dinner, and then we can even find a nice wine bar or a great little jazz club. From Montmartre, there's a gorgeous view of the whole city, which is so spectacular at night. Can you imagine the fun we're going to have? When we're ready to take a break from fashion, Erica has arranged for us to actually have some fun at a macaron making workshop where we'll learn how to make the perfect French macaron. Our local tour guide will also take us for a morning of luxury vintage shopping, followed by a visit to the Clignacourt Court flea market, the largest flea market in the world. It's massive, so it'll be great to have our guide with us. There's an amazing vintage clothing boutique there I'm dying to check out called Les Merveilles de Babalou where it looks like they have vintage designer pieces like vintage Chanel, Gautier, Dior, Versace, etc. For our last evening in Paris, we'll have a dinner cruise on the River Seine. This will be the perfect way to say farewell to the City of Lights. On day seven of the trip, we pack up and we head to Marrakesh. Marrakesh is in Morocco, in the northern part of Africa, and is a three-hour flight from Paris. The cost of this flight is included in the trip. Your flights from home and back are not included in the trip because we'll all be coming from different areas and maybe you'll want to arrive a few days early and explore on your own. You can either book your own flights or Open Doors Travel would book it for you, but that part's not included in the trip. But the flight from Paris to Marrakesh is included. When we land, an air-conditioned private coach will pick us up from the airport and take us to our hotel. We'll have this coach the whole time we're in Morocco. This is where we're thinking of staying. Seriously, check this out. It's gorgeous. For our first afternoon and evening there, I just want to hang out by that pool and have dinner at a nearby restaurant. That just looks amazing to me. So dream with me for a second here. Morocco is quite safe for tourists, and the most common languages spoken there are Arabic, Berber, and French. So Yves Saint Laurent would have been quite comfortable there. My French is terrible and my Arabic is non-existent. So the whole time we're in Morocco, we'll have a local tour guide who speaks the language. And in Morocco, all of our meals will be together and they're all included in the price of the trip. And the food should be amazing. Our guide will take us on a whole tour of Marrakesh, which is called the Red City of Morocco, including some of the sites with historical and cultural interests, such as the Qutubia Minaret, the beautiful Bahia Palace, and the Dar Said Museum. I can't wait to walk through the Medina alleys and see all of the different artisans showing their crafts and then check out the famous Jama' El Fna Square. 
This is where we'll really experience all of the sights, sounds, and smells that inspired Yves Saint Laurent. He and his partner Pierre Berger lived in a beautiful home in Marrakesh called the Villa Oasis, which is surrounded by the lovely Majorelle Gardens. We'll visit the gardens and also the Berber Museum, which is now housed here. And then, of course, we'll go to the nearby Yves Saint Laurent Museum. After a couple days exploring Marrakesh, we'll leave that gorgeous hotel and our private coach will take us to Urfrain, stopping along the way in Kenifra to see the local Berber Carpet Cooperative. Urfrain is actually a winter resort in the Atlas Mountains. Who knew? So we'll just rest one night there before continuing on our journey, stopping to check out a women's cherry button cooperative and a ceramic cooperative. We'll even get a pottery making class before continuing along to Fez. Look where Erica wants us to stay in Fez. Are you kidding me? Fez is the second largest city in Morocco and known as the cultural capital of the country. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most preserved medieval Islamic cities in the world. And our guide will take us to the old Medina through these narrow streets to the traditional markets and the leather tanneries. Fez is a great place to buy leather goods and pottery. We'll feel like we've been transported back to ancient times as we see the Karawin Mosque, University and Library, which is said to be the oldest university in the world. And then we'll really get immersed in the culture when we get a cooking class and prepare our own dinner in a Riyadh or a traditional Moroccan home. Then we'll head to Chef Shouwen, often called the Blue Pearl of Morocco. Its lovely blue buildings make it a gorgeous place to wander and take loads of photos, and it's a great place to find locally woven rugs and blankets. We'll then make our way to Casablanca for our farewell dinner with one night's stay and then fly back home from there. To me, this trip is a dream come true. I really hope you can join me for this once in a lifetime experience. For more information, go to opendoorstravel.ca. I'll leave a link in the description box below and fingers crossed, you can join me. I'd love to have you along. I'll be back in a few days with the video on the second idea that I pitched to Erica and see if that one appeals to you as much or more. And then after that, I promise I'll get back to some good sewing projects. So until next time on Catherine Sews, we take care. <laughs>